Hello, so in this video, I'm taking my um, Casio G-Shock 5600E. I'm wearing another one actually, a gold one. I um, can't remember what model this one's called. Let's have a look. This is the 5600 BBMB. Um, yeah, but today I'm taking the 5600E and I'm going to just modify it a little bit. So that's the plan. So this is what I'm going to do to it. I'm going to fit a plain bezel to get rid of the white writing, to tone it down a bit. Then I'm going to fit a pair of these strap adapters and a NATO strap. And then over the top of the bezel, I'll put one of these ball bars. And I think that's going to give it kind of a, a cool rugged kind of look. So we'll just get on with that straight away. So first off, I'm going to take off the um, straps and you can get one of these little tools. It's like a little fork and you get it down in the spring bar and then you lever it over and then the strap just pops out. Make sure you don't lose your spring bar. So that's one off. And get the other one off. That's the other one. That's the straps off. Then we get a little Phillips screwdriver. You want to make sure you get one that's a good fit um, to undo the screws on the side to get the bezel off. So just do this, make sure I don't lose the screws. Is it one, one to go? And then to get this off, I uh, pry it off the side with the shorter button, which is the um, adjust button. So let's get my finger now under it, just pull it off. And um, I'll tell you what, we'll put these strap adapters on first, because sometimes, especially if you're putting a metal bezel on, it can be easier to put the straps in first. So I'm going to fit the um, strap adapters with the spring bars that came with it, with the adapters themselves. So you can use your original ones normally, but um, hey, I'll just use these ones first and see if they hold up. Sometimes they're not as good. Oh, I <laughs> shot the spring bar at myself. I just picked up. So you definitely want to um, be careful doing this because you don't want to lose all your spring bars. The easiest way I think to do these, I'll show you. Locate the spring bar in the bottom hole, slide the adapter on, making sure the spring bar is still in the bottom hole. Slide it down, get it into place, get your little fork, push this down, and then once it's in the gap, you might have to wiggle it around before it locates into the hole. But I think I've got it. Yeah, that was good. It is a bit fiddly. And I've only done a few before. So let's get the spring bar in the hole. Push that down. Get it lined up. Lever this down. I'm sure some of you probably do this even easier than me. But there we go. That's the strap adapters on. Now we'll get the bezel. Make sure it's the right way up. I'll hook it on the the side with the two bigger buttons first and just clip it over that's now on now we can put the screws back what you want to do what i'd like to do is be really careful and make sure they're going in in the freight in the um the same thread that was previously cut because you don't want to put them in cross threaded because you'll damage the um the thread You'll know by feel if it's um, going incorrect or not. But there we go, it's already looking a bit better, I think. Now I'll put the um, 
put it on his strap. So let's thread that through from the top. Let's pull it all the way down. Put that through there. Done. It's now on his NATO. And then I'll get this spring bar. Now these are just all these parts are just cheap. I got them from AliExpress, but you can get them from anywhere. You know, Amazon, eBay, Banggood, probably Wish, whatever. Anywhere you like. And that is the way this is bent. It's not bent square. So what I'm going to do is look at where it's bent. And I think that's the tightest corner that's at the top there. So I'm going to put that next to the small button because that's the hardest one to reach. And I want the bumper bar sort of as far away from it as possible. So yeah, that's it. You just hook it on one side, push it on, bang, done. And that is one kind of modified watch. And I think that gives a much more kind of rugged, tough look. And it probably makes it a bit more durable. I would assume that the nylon strap, the um, NATO is probably stronger than this. And then you've got the bumper bar and, you know, the only weak point could be the spring bars. But like I said, you could, you could use your original ones. Here's one. You can use those um, by, you know, I'll use them if I need to. Otherwise, I'll keep them with the original strap. So yeah, there we go. I'll slip it on. I think that's pretty cool. Doesn't cost a lot. Every part's just like a few pounds each. And um, I think it gives it a really, you know, really cool kind of more rugged look. And uh, the good thing about this is, you know, if you don't like the ball bar, you can change it or don't use it or get a different color. And with the NATOs, you can use, you can get so many different like styles, um, you know, designs, patterns, colors. Um, you can even get them in different materials. You can get a softer material. Um, you can get ones that don't have this piece underneath. Because um, some people aren't a fan of, of this piece which goes underneath because it doubles up the material under the watch. But then there's different ways you can wear it to kind of get rid of that. So one way is leave it off. Put that through there. Then do the watch up like normal. And now you don't have two layers under here, so it keeps it flusher to your wrist. So that's one way, another way of wearing it. And you get kind of two, two layers here. So yeah, there we go. One easily, quickly modified uh, G-Shock. So there we go. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.